Hi there, and welcome to the latest video on my YouTube channel. First, I want to start off by thanking you for those who have been subscribing to the channel. Last week, we got over 2000 subscribers. I was in Oslo when it happened. My group of students of Bank ID helped me to well pass this magical barrier of 2000. Still, 80% of those who are watching my videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. If you don't want to miss a thing, now is the time to hit that subscribe button in order to make sure that you don't miss any video that I upload. Today's video is about how to an automatically enroll your Intune managed Windows devices into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Now, this is a small and simple step that we need to take in order to get full control or out of our devices. Intune is fine, but together with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, it is magic. So in this video, we are going to do that little step. Let's get started. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this yet, but I uh, last weekend I moved from my old house to my new house. Um, I am still in the middle of building up the office. As you can see, I did not even got the time to put on the green screen yet. Next video that will be fixed and well, everything should be looking a little bit more smooth now. Um, you can also check, for example, that I did not get any time to, well, for example, put my nice pictures on the wall and everything. So uh, plenty of stuff yet to, uh, yet to fix in order to get, uh, to get the videos more smooth. So let's get started with the technical content of today's video. Um, the idea behind this everything is that we want to automatically onboard our Windows devices that are currently managed with Intune into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. This gives us far more control on what we can do with those Windows devices. So the first step is that we need to be in the Defender portal in security.microsoft.com. And there is one thing you want to check, and that is if you go all the way down here on the left into settings, and then into endpoints, you are being put into that advanced features view because there is this one thing we want to check. And that is that we want to make sure that the um, the Microsoft Intune connection here is set to on, like that. Now, if this is switched to on, and if you have to yet switch, make that switch, click save in the end when you've done that, then what will happen if we enable that auto onboarding via Intune? Um, the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint client or the sensor is automatically being given the right destination of where to get the data to and from. And that would be your Microsoft Defense Endpoint environment in your tenant. So if this is fixed, you can go into Intune. And now we have two options to get these things going. Um, if you want to make use of the Endpoint Security environment, then what you want to do is create an Endpoint Detection and Response policy. You want to create that policy here. You can choose Windows 10 or later, Endpoint Detection and Response, click Create. And then what you want to do is you want to go and check out those two settings, which you don't even need to change at all. Just create a policy like this, and it will then enable the third and hidden setting, and that is to onboard your devices into the for Endpoint. In the end, of course, you want to make sure that you do the assignment and the smarter thing to do is to create a group that contains the Windows devices that you want to have in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So one way is to take care of this via the Endpoint security policies here. Another way to get the same result is to go into devices here in the top, then scroll a little bit further down for configuration profiles and here you can create a new profile, again for Windows, template-based. And here you want to select Microsoft Defender for 
endpoint. This is for desktop devices running Windows 10 or later. Here, what you'll get to see is that there is also, let me make sure to put this in the top, just like that. Uh, here, what you want to do is you may want to go and, well, change these settings to your likes. This is what I typically do. I want to leave the sample sharing for all files to not configured, and I want to expedite the telemetry reporting frequency. Then under assignments, again, we create that group. We use the group of devices that is going to get this policy. I'm going to leave the applicability rules as they are. And then what you'll notice if I create this profile and we'll just wait for the profile to be shown. Then what you will notice that the third and hidden uh, 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 feature of this profile is now listed here. And that is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Client Configuration Package Type on board. This is what you want. And that is that third and hidden setting. When your Windows clients will get this particular settings, they will go and they will onboard themselves into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. This can typically take a few hours as this is um, as this is a time consuming process. What I typically do is just wait another day and then the next day you will notice that those devices are, are, are shown. And if you want to check, there's actually two ways that we can check. One way is you can go here under the assets devices list and it should start showing your Windows devices in this case. Um, they should be shown here. And another thing that you can do is check on the client that is supposed to be onboarded into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Check if the, uh, uh, the sense service is running. So you could run a PowerShell command get service and then star sense stars and uh, star and, and just go in and check if that service is running. If that is the case, the device is then onboarded into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. From that point on, once this happened, you can just wait a little bit. And soon enough, you will see that the, uh, for example, the, uh, the software inventory is going to run. Um, browser extensions are going to be shown and so on. What we can do with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, we will cover in one of our next videos. So that's all for today. Um, again, I want to thank you once more for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done that already, please do it now. And let's hope we will get to the 3000 subscribers very, very soon. If you have any questions about anything that I am discussing on this channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like the video, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And we will meet in another video on this channel. Thank you.